what's up guys uh, welcome to WP SEO um, today I'm going to put you guys through on how to do um, expired domain SEO the best way to do redirecting to increase your traffic you know I'm a good fan of expired domain everything about SEO I love SEO and I love you guys today I'm going to give you steps on how to do SEO with expired domain you don't need to buy expired domain you start redirecting it to your blog so today I'm going to talk about what you need to do what you need to implement with this board of drawing now I'm going to use this board which is online drawing to show you guys visual learning how you're going to implement and get a good result with expired domain um, Remember to subscribe to this channel so I will be giving you guys update about SEO, everything, beginner guys, how to rank, how to boost your traffic. So today, uh, without wasting your time, I'm going to show you what I do in terms of expired domain, how I use expired domain to raise a good amount of traffic back to my money site. Okay, without wasting you guys time. Um, I'm going to use this for example this is my money site which is site A okay so I have pages inside here I have pages I have many things inside here page post okay there's something like that page posts etc okay so etc and so on so now i have expired domain and buy i'm not going to redirect that expired domain to this blog okay i'm going to buy expired domain then if i have money to host that expired domain i will host it if i have money to Maybe I don't have money. I will just install that. Um, that I will now carry that domain, put it on Blogspot, just put it on Blogspot and do a lot of tech. Let's go. So fine, this is the expired domain. Once you buy the expired domain, then this is the Google Console. Okay. GM. Google Console. And let's call it Webmaster. Webmaster okay gw let's call it like that with this webmaster this is the expired domain okay okay this is the expired domain site so you buy the expired domain either you install wordpress you host the site maybe use cheap hosting to host the expired domain or maybe use um something like um block spots to just put the domain so once you put the domain install wordpress or maybe you do uh you install wordpress or maybe you use the expired domain to put it on block spots if you don't have the money then you now create um, like two to four posts here you are going to drop four posts here okay you are going to post four unique posts okay related to your niche okay so after creating that four posts in this expired me the next thing you need to do you generate what is sitemap okay then request for index to google then you add the site to google okay keep your site a aside facts don't redirect once you buy then once you install WordPress or maybe add it to Blogspot, make a four posts, four unique posts. Then this is the GW, which is Webmaster Tools, where you are going to add the site. Once you finish writing four good content on this blog, then you now generate sitemap and verify the site in Google. Okay, on Google. Once you verify the site on Google, then once you are done verifying the site. Then Google is going to crawl this page. Google is going to visit your page and crawl both your pages, posts, category, and everything. Okay. 
Then once Google visit that site, Google will know that, oh, but, well, this site is back again, you understand? Google will notice the site and crawl back some of the pages. Remember, the history is still there, which is your backlink, the DA, whatever. But the reason of doing this, um, installing WordPress or maybe adding it to um, Blogger or maybe making a post is just to give Google signal that this blog is still alive. You understand? This is just a smart way. Okay. Now, after two two months or one month, if you are patient enough, two months, okay, by that two months, uh, Google have already crawled this site. Maybe if you have time, you post like five more, one post here or four, uh, more four posts, it become eight, okay? So now, the site, Google will crawl it, the site will keep ranking some of the keywords you just um, blog inside the domain. Now, before two months, then now you are now decide on two or within the two months you now decide whether you are going to use it for redirection to your money site or you are going to use it for what pbn okay did you see the tips here now you are going to decide since the blog is getting traffic, Google have already crawled the new pages and the history, the domain authority, everything is still there. If you still have the strength to build more links to the blog, you can build, okay? Then now, maybe you bought the one that have 20 to 30 DA. Now you install WordPress on the domain. Once you install WordPress on the domain or you add it to Blogger, then after that, remember it's about expired domain. After that, you write four posts to eight posts, okay? Verify the site in Google Console, which is Webmaster Tools, Google Webmaster. Then add the site map. Allow Google to crawl that site back. Once you crawl it, then you can leave the site for just one month to two months if you are patient enough. Then now you now decide if you are going to point, use it for redirection or you use it for PBN. There is um there, there is two uh, two steps you need to use it uh, use the domain for three step either you use it for PBN or use it and do personal blog self um you use it and start blog or you use it for redirection it have served for what three purposes so these are the ways to utilize expired domain to use it and build more what more authority. To use it and give Google signal that this domain is existing, then once you redirect now, traffic is coming to this, traffic is coming to this blog from Google to this blog. Okay, once traffic is coming to this expired domain, you have write content, verify it in searching console, write unique content, eight posts. You leave it for two months, which is this two months here. You leave it for two months. You see that the blog will start ranking some of the keywords with the authority with the good history this domain have you can equally build some of the few links you have maybe to the blog then leave it for two months you see that the blog will start drawing a lot of traffic and ranking some of um, some of the keyword you placed inside then you can decide to use it and do redirection now first of all traffic is coming to this blog so the visitors are going to click here then you redirect them to here <laughs> Or you use it for PBN, the visitor can come to this site and you still you will still do your referral link, which is internal linking to what your money site. These are the things you need to use to generate traffic with the expired domain. And again, if you are doing this uh, this um, tech, be careful. Um, if you host this site, which is this site, this your main site in Namecheap. You host this one, which is this expired domain in Domain King, okay? Then make it publish. Make sure you do it without a footprint. Google will not understand what you are trying to do. But this is the simplest way to generate big traffic towards your money site. It's going to turn PBN or you use it for your direction. Now, traffic is coming to the domain and is ranking some of the few keywords and you have been already um, backlinked to it. It's two months old. Google have crossed some of the pages and noticed that the blog exists. 
then you now channel the redirection of you use it for what PBN. Thank you guys for watching. You know, um, I've been I will be bringing a lot of update about expired domain things you need to use expired domain to do, and also I'll be dropping a lot of SEO text things you need to do with SEO how you can implement them to boost your traffic to the your expectation. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. I love you guys. Do have a wonderful day.